Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Hudak. I'm a product design manager here at Fellow. My pronouns are he and him. And I'm here today to talk you through the Opus Conical Burr Grinder. Opus is Fellow's new grinder I'm about to hit the market. It is a all-purpose grinder designed for grinding the full range of brew methods from espresso all the way to cold brew. So let's get into it. This is the Opus box. Um, you got your Opus silhouette on the front, some basic product information on the back, and it opens from the side here. So inside, we'll find a number of things. First thing you're gonna see when you open it are the manuals. There's three things in here. We have a get to know you guide, which is basically a quick start guide with some high level features. We have our safety manual with some more nitty gritty details about the grinder. And finally, a warranty card where you can register your product for an additional year warranty on top of our standard two year. Diving a little bit deeper, we've got Opus itself, which I'll pull out now. Which is wrapped all nicely. Um, so this is the Opus grinder. There's a bag on the power cord. Um, we have the catch cup underneath wrapped separately as well. Um, this catch ships uh, with the espresso dosing cup insert inside, um, but we also ship with the standard catch lid in the bottom of the box. Um, and so these two pieces are interchangeable. Um, we just ship with the espresso lid for space concerns. Okay, now I'm going to dive into the Opus, talk about some of the features and the components you'll find on it. Starting up top here with the load bin. Uh, the Opus's load bin has a capacity of around 110 grams, a little bit more or less depending on the bean type and roast level. Um, we've designed it for mostly single-use coffee. We don't recommend actually storing beans in the hopper, and that's because we, be, we believe that to keep the beans their most fresh, they should be kept in the bag they come in or in a vacuum seal container, such as the Atmos that Fellow makes. This is the load bin lid. It's got a handy grind guide on the inside here um, that lists all of the brew methods and what the corresponding grind setting is for each one, in case you're unfamiliar with the product. The load bin lid also has um, two dosing compartments on the inside. For those who are new to the coffee game and might not have a scale to weigh out their beans, uh, we've created these to help you out. So this smaller compartment filling the beans to the top of this wall is a small single cup pour over or a roughly corresponds to a double shot of espresso and this larger compartment is a two cup pour over. If you have a French press, you can combine these so this is roughly 40 grams and 20 grams. That'll give you 60 grams for a French press. And finally, if you're one of those who has, who's grinding for a batch brewer, filling up to the top of the lid is roughly 100 grams of beans, which we have correlated to a 12 cup batch brew. So just a couple nice features to help out those who are newer to the coffee game. Um, moving on to the grind adjustment dial here. Um, you'll see the grind settings along the outside of the load bin. Um, this is just super easy to change. Each grind setting is um, corresponded to with a mark on the scale and also uh, a click with the actual physical grind adjustment dial. So again, find your grind setting on the inside of the um, hopper lid and then you can set it on the outside here by adjusting um, appropriately. Moving down further, back to the catch. Uh, the catch has uh, a lid on it, which just kind of helps grinds collect in the correct spot, reduces mess, um, things like that. This catch is 100 gram capacity, so again, that corresponds to the 12 cut batch brew. Um, we find that with most other brew methods, you won't be filling this catch up. Inside the catch, there's a spout, uh, so the catch is round, which in the past, um, you know, we understand has proven difficult to pour grinds neatly. So this spout is molded right into the plastic and allows you to pour right into uh, a pour over funnel or dripper. Um, finally, this um, espresso porta filter dosing cup sits in the catch instead of the lid. Um, and again, 
still collects grinds the same way, but this interfaces with a portafilter for easy grinds transfer when you're brewing for espresso. We'll cover that more thoroughly in another video. To operate the grinder, we have a single button and this runs on timed auto stop. So at the beginning of the grind cycle, the time of grind you get out of Opus is, um, corresponds to how many times you press the button. A single press will give you 30 seconds of grind time, double press will give you 60, triple press will be 90 seconds, and if you hold the button at the beginning of the grind cycle, that'll give you a full two minutes of grinding. Okay, next up, I'm gonna talk about a few of the features that are inside the Opus that you can't actually see when you're looking at the outside of the product. So this load bin actually twists off um, for easy removal and cleaning. Um, you wanna do this when there's no beans inside the, the load bin itself. Once you twist it counterclockwise, it lifts away, exposing this inside of Opus itself. Now we can see a few different things going on here. This blue inner ring, uh, is a secondary adjustment ring, which we'll talk about more thoroughly in another video. But basically, it's used to expand the ends of the grind range slightly to get a little bit more granularity out of your grind adjustment, um, which we find useful for things like fine-tuning your espresso shot, and also to calibrate your burrs as they wear down over time. Further down here, you can see the actual burrs, which do all the work of the grinder. Um, these are Fellows C6-40 conical burrs. So this is a 40 millimeter conical burr set, which is the outer di diameter of the outer burr. And then the six corresponds to the number of primary blades on this inner burr here. Again, we've made Opus super easy to clean. This outer burr actually twists away with a similar twist lock mechanism as the load bin. Um, so once it's unscrewed counterclockwise, it just lifts away and you can get down in there with a cleaning brush whenever you need to. Um, if you do have hand tools and you want to go a little bit deeper with Opus, there's a nut here which unscrews as well. Once that's off, you can actually pull out the inner burr as well and do a very deep cleaning. Um, so I'm going to put these components back into place. You can hear the click of the outer burr as it twists into place. And then with the load bin, it's a similar twist lock mechanism. So just twist until you hear that click. Um, finally, one more internal feature to talk about um, is right inside the exit chute. It's not something you can easily see, um, but this is our anti-static mechanism. So this basically pulls static out of the grinds as they fall out of the grinder and that just makes for a very neat, mess-free design and uh, experience when you're using Opus.